that the cost of the books, some of them have shocked me. And I can see that for students that are working part-time, that this would be a struggle. I heard from my friends that they told me it's, a, it's really hard for them to be able to get textbooks because they're so expensive. And that actually stops, prevents them from wanting to take a certain class because the books are so expensive and they can't afford them. And so in the end, they decided I don't want to take a class, but maybe the classes are good for them. But they just can't. Textbooks are so expensive. In terms of the most compelling moment that I've had in this transition to OER, I would say two things uh, stick out. One is I, I had an interaction with a student who basically said that because I hadn't assigned a textbook, she now had money uh, for things associated with her children. And uh, that, that broke my heart because money should never be a deterrent for somebody to get an education. And the second um, compelling thing is I've had students respond in um, evaluations of uh, of the class and how having no textbook, like what that did for them. And overwhelmingly, the, the response has been, it is making history come alive um, more than if I were just reading about something in a textbook. And so that's the definition of what I want my students to do. So what I'm really excited about is I can make their textbook match this place. I'm adding a section on Native American art. I'm gonna go out to the High Bull Museum in Tulalip and they actually will have a section on Native American art which is actually done for Native American artists who actually live here in this community. So I can customize this resource to match where the students live and that gives them this huge sense of engagement. OER to me is a platform in which everybody learns including the instructor. It's absolutely <laughs> It's amazing how some students took off on it and got really excited, willing to submit feedback even after they were done with my class. Some of them even, well, even kept in contact with me personally and are here at this event helping out just because they stand behind the idea of open, open courseware. By starting the class with a conversation, explaining the resources we're going to be using are not going to be an expensive resource talking about what the OER movement is, the quality of the resources, getting the students involved in selecting resources. They see right away that I am committed to their success, that I care, and I want to help them get through this process in a way that's going to be better for everybody. I feel like the light bulb comes on and they're, they want to be in that class and they want to be there. Uh, so I started incorporating students into the writing process. Um, started doing that around the first of the year and it's been a huge success. This quarter, uh, in addition to not only creating more content, I'm also incorporating uh, having the students develop their own assessments, uh, develop, help with the learning outcomes, starting to try and tie all the text that some students are producing with the learning outcomes and the assessments. I, so far, engagement is incredible. And they go, is there gonna be more notes on this? So what I love is they're actually asking for more information because it's they're driving the forward momentum here rather than me driving the momentum. And I, it's been years since that has um, that I've seen that happen with my students where they say, you know, we'd like to know more about this. By writing, by, by looking at the topic, the political science topic, by looking at that and knowing that I was going to put something on paper that other people were going to read, changed my viewpoint in how I was interpreting the material and how I was going to reprocess that material in my own words onto paper. And you're doing the same thing from the textbook. You're reading and then you're answering the question that's posed to you from the professor. But when you are doing it for a different end result, the way you process the information and the way you put it down on paper is completely different. I think the learning process 
is far more powerful. I found that I had more interest. I found that I retained the material and it became more important to me. It felt really amazing that I was able to do this because at first I thought it was just, you know, another ex assignment where I just, you know, research about information and just write things down and in my own words, of course, but after I, I thought about it more, I started to realize that, oh, people are going to read what I have to say and that totally changed everything. Like I tried to really think about what I want to write instead of just, you know, reciting stuff. I really want to put more effort and more thoughts into it and because people are going to read it. So I really, really want to choose stuff, ideas, concepts, information that would be useful to people like what they really, really would be.